Good everyone, you're watching Rate You Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you get an error message which says something went wrong when you click on Windows Update Settings. Now, there are a couple of steps which you can try to get this issue resolved. Now, without any delays, let's get started. Now, in case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, the first step is to run the Windows Troubleshooter. To run the Windows Troubleshooter, you will have to do a right click on the Start button and then click on Settings. Once you're on the Settings page, you will have to go ahead and click on System, which will take you to the list of uh, settings here. On the right hand side, you will have to go ahead and look for Troubleshoot. So click on Troubleshoot. Once you're on the Troubleshoot section, click on Other Troubleshooter and look for Windows Update. Now, if you have used Windows Update Troubleshooter in the past, you would see it under Most Frequent section. Otherwise, you would see it under this list. So click on Run for the Windows Update and follow the step-by-step -step instruction what you're seeing on the screen to um, complete the Windows Update Troubleshooter. So once the Windows Troubleshooter is running is completed, um, you would see um, the initial diagnostic, uh, what you need to do to uh, complete the Windows Troubleshooter. In my case, it says that pending system changes that require a reboot has been detected. So you will have to restart the computer. In your case, it could be a different situation. So click on next. And um, in my case, what I will have to do is I will have to go down and click on next and restart the computer. Once this is done, uh, you may go ahead and uh, restart the computer and then try to install the Windows Update or go to Windows uh, Update Settings and try to install the Windows Update and see if it works. In case if it works, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, if your issues has been not resolved, the next step is sure the update orchestrated service is enabled or running in your computer. Now to do this, what you will have to do is you will have to, have to open the services window. So click on the search. In the search box, go ahead and type services.msc. You would see the best match. So open services. So basically this is the window which will show all the services which are running on your computer. In this list, you will have to go ahead and look for update orchestrator service so it would be in alphabetical order so you will have to go ahead and look for update orchestrator service now check if this service is been running in case if it is not running you will have to go ahead and start the service manually or enable the service manually in any of this case i would suggest you to try this step so what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click and then click on properties in case if the startup type has been set to manual go ahead and change it to automatic click on apply and in case if the service is not running uh, what i would suggest you to do is you would see um, this window just like how you're seeing here so what i did was i stopped the services in your case if it is not running or if it is not being started you would see the start button highlighted click on start click on apply and then click on ok restart your computer and then try to go ahead and check for the Windows Update settings and install the Windows Update. This should ideally fix your problem. Now, in case if your issues be not resolved after enabling the update orchestrated services, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is uh, to run the SFC scan. So there are a couple of steps which you will have to go ahead and uh, run. The first step is to run the SFC scan. To run the SFC scan, you will have to open the command prompt window in the administrator. So in the search box, you may go ahead and type command. Do a right click on the command prompt window under the best match and click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now. The first step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would go ahead and suggest you to run a couple of commands here. I will paste this command in the description. So one is uh, to run the DISM restore health scan. So you can copy the command from the video description. And I will also paste this command on the screen. So all you need to do is you can do a right click and that would automatically paste the command and hit enter. Once it is done, you would see the restore health for the disk management um, 
command running. Once it is done, you would see that the message it has been successfully completed. Once the restored health command has been completed, then the next command what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and run the SFC scan command. So you can copy the command from the video description and paste it here by doing a right click. Uh, and you will have this command and hit enter. Now this command will start running and it has got about four stages. This depends on the uh, speed of the computer and amount of data what you have on the computer. So this might take about 15 to 20 minutes. Once the command is completed, once the SFC scan is completed, the next command what you will have to go ahead and uh, run is the check this command. Now in this command, um, you would be asked to restart the computer. You will be prompted to restart the computer. Once you hit the enter, uh, the next step is to go ahead and restart the computer. With this, the check this command would run once your computer restart. Once it is done, uh, I would suggest you to go ahead and um, check for the Windows update and uh, you would see once you run the check disk uh, you uh, and uh, you will be prompted to restart the computer when you restart the computer the check disk command would be completed and one upon completion you can log into your computer and then try to install the windows update and see if it works in case if it works well and good you don't have to try the next step the next step is to go ahead and edit the registry so what you will have to do is you will have to open the registry editor to open the registry editor you may do a right click on the start button and click on run and type in the run command go ahead and type reg edit in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now once you have the registry editor open on your computer screen you will have to uh, navigate to the registry so i will also mention this registry in the uh, video description and also on the screen so you will have to expand computer in case uh, if you have the registry editor this way make sure it has been collapsed and this is it has been structured in this in this way and just to give you a disclaimer please be careful while modifying the registry in case if you make any changes which is not required to do or if you delete any registry key by mistake there are chances that your computer might go to a no boot mode so please be sure and be clear on what registry you're modifying now once your registry is in under this uh, structure by collapsing you will have to go ahead and navigate under hk local machine so expand hk local machine from here go ahead and look for system expand system by clicking on this arrow and once you're on the system look for current control set click on the arrow that will expand the current control set and then expand services once you're on the services go ahead and look for the key which says USOS it will be in alphabetical order so look for the key which says USOS it should be right under this section US SVC so highlight US OSVC registry key on the right hand side you will see a key which says start now here in case if the value is being set to 1 or 3 make sure the value has been set to number 2 how do you do it double click on it in case if the value is 1 or 3, make sure the value data is being set to number 2. Click on OK. And once it is done, what you can do is uh, you will have to repeat the same step for the other two, uh, other two services. The other two services are, uh, the registry keys are WS, WAAS, -E SVC. So you, it will be in alphabetical order. So look for the WAS services. Make sure the start value is being set to number two and click on OK. And the next key what you have to look for is WASERV, which I will also mention in the video description. So let's look for WUA. So it will be in alphabetical order. 
for W U you will have to scroll down a bit highlight the uh, W A S E R V and change the start value to 2 in case if it has been set to something else so double click on it in case if it has been set to 1 or 3 change the value data to number 2 close this window restart the computer and that sh um, once you restart the computer you should be able to see the windows update settings and update the windows now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to roll back your windows to a restore point where it was working maybe roll, rolling back your uh, windows settings back to the uh, previous state how do you do it in the search window you can go ahead and type restore and you would see an option which says create restore point so click on create restore point the best match once you have the system properties window here you would see an option which says system restore under system protection so click on system restore and you would see the system restore option click on next now this is where you would find the different uh, dates where your computer has been set to so if you want to go back to the previous date you can go ahead and ch choose the date where you want to uh, take your computer back to the previous state so currently i am on the year 2024 of month of february in case if i want to go back to the previous date of uh, 31st january then what i would do is i would go ahead and choose the days now in case if you don't see any uh, changes here click on show more restore point that would show up the more list under this section in my case i have selected here that's why i see more restore points and once it is done click on scan for affected changes and click on next and with this your computer should restore back to the previous state once this is done you may go ahead and try to uh, check for the windows update settings and install the windows update and uh, try to install the windows update this should ideally fix the problem in case if you're still facing a problem the last step what i would suggest you to do is i would go ahead and suggest you to reset your windows now to reset your windows um, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page on the left hand side you may go ahead and click on windows update under this section you may go ahead and click on advanced option under advanced option go ahead and look, click on recovery now here once you click on recovery you would see an option which says reset this pc now just to give you a heads up resetting this pc will not delete any files or any programs on your computer provided you choose the right settings in the next window once you click on reset uh, pc you will see a couple of options here so the first option what you would see is you would be given an option to choose how you want to reset your pc so keep my files or remove everything now in your case choose the option which says keep my files make sure you choose the option keep my files not remove everything remove everything will restore your computer back to the factory settings and you will lose all the data and the programs which are installed on the computer so make sure you choose the up and down arrow key or the mouse button and choose the keep my files once it is done the next window you would see is how you how would you like to reinstall your windows now here you will have to go ahead and choose the local reinstall the second option and click on next and here click on next again not to choose or correct any settings here once it is done you will receive a confirmation window click on confirm with this your computer will restart and once your computer restarts once the reset pc has been completed successfully you can log in back to your computer and then try to install the windows update that should definitely fix a problem though in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem in that case i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with a possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video Please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.